Seriously, who has just one sheet? I do. What fortune bestowed upon thy maiden by the microwave gods? This is another convenience dish I just whip up by looking into my fridge and seeing what sauce, whether it's marinara or bolognese sauce, I can use to whip up something quick. I've even found some leftover spinach dish, so I'm gonna use that too. Drop the sheet in some boiling water and set aside. If I can be honest and say, sometimes I surprise myself, self. I don't know how I had just one sheet of lasagna, like why didn't I just use the last sheet the last time I made this dish. I don't know. But soften the sheet in boiling water. Then measure out 100 mils of milk. And what we're going to do is make the foundation of every beautiful white sauce by adding a tablespoon of flour. It can be corn flour, it can be plain flour, and a knob of butter. As a shortcut, I am yanking it into the oven on high for a minute 30 seconds. Then I'll stir to to check the thickness this is what you have now i'm adding cheese i did not measure the cheese i just put as much cheese as i wanted because you know i like cheese look at that lusciousness and as i mentioned this is the foundation of any thick and creamy cheesy sauce you can use this in cauliflower cheese macaroni broccoli i've now added some cream Again, I didn't measure. And now that the cheese is in, this is a good time to check for seasoning. I've just added some garlic, salt with herbs, not too much. And now that all my ducks are in a row, Avengers assemble. Grab your little ramekin or pot. Hello, it's me. The rest of it just involves layering. Cut your lasagna sheet in half or however many you have. I only had one. And layer as I'm doing. So uh, I kind of let that lasagna sit in the hot water. <laughs> and this is why it's disintegrating. But guys, listen, you don't need to cook that sheet for a long time at all. So I'm beginning my layering with the cheese sauce followed by a lasagna sheet, followed by the bolognese, and then the spinach. And all I'm going to do is repeat this process just the same way I did it before with the lasagna sheet, followed by some bolognese sauce, then a uh, some spinach i mean this is a great way to use up those vegetable size that we can have lying in the fridge and finally i'm going to add the final layer of cheese sauce and then sprinkle some freshly grated cheese on top it gives it that really nice finishing touch uh, now it's up to you whether you put it in the oven or in the microwave the oven, you just do it for about 15 minutes till the cheese is melted and slightly browned. But now, put it into the microwave for two minutes. And a good tip is to actually lay your microwavable dish on top of a plate because you do get some spillover. It's okay. It saves the mess. And this next step is important. Allow that dish to cool down for a minute or so. Whilst I'm waiting, that cheese sauce in the mixing bowl is enticing me. <laughs> this sauce is good. I don't even understand how something unbelievably simple can be so delicious. Now, I wonder if I can use this sauce in other dishes. And now it is time to eat. Um, what I'm tasting is really satisfying. So I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this hack from me. This is not how we cook every day, but it is just an idea for when you need something quick, easy, and delicious. Now about that sheet. I actually found one, just one single sheet of lasagna in my pantry and I'm grateful.